Hi. How are you, babe? I'm Dan Glass, and this is my dear friend Maz Islam. And we're outside starting off at Shoreditch High Street Station because we're starting the Whitechapel route of my book, Queer Footprints, A Guide to Uncovering London's Fierce History. This map is created by Mark Glasgow, my dear friend. He's created all the maps. And number four on here is the Glass House, this amazing LGBTQIA plus bookshop and bar and community centre. It's incredible that it exists now, today, whereas 200 years ago, we've got the Society for the Reformation of Manners, which was a brutal homophobic network of moral guardians. So it's just like incredible to see how things have changed. Here, uh -huh. so this place is really important in terms of like Bangladeshi LGBT community. I met a few of my friends uh, who are the organizer of uh, a party here. It's called Odbud. Odbud is one of the first Bangladeshi LGBT community who use this platform to organize a. Bangladeshi party and and that's why this place is very significant to us. So Alta Bali Park is named after a British Bangladeshi who are like brutally like murdered and this is considered the heart of Bangladeshi people because it's a cultural hub here so whenever like we have any significant event like International Mother's Language Day or like Victory Day, Independence Day, all the Bangladeshi people will come here and pay their tribute. On top of that, like, if you can remember, we did our first Bangladeshi LGBT history tour yeah. from the Alta Bali Park. At yeah. the same time, we, the small Bangladeshi LGBT community, with sort of a meeting place for us. Like, so it's really important for um, history of Bangladesh for the like LGBT community as well. This is really heartbreaking that uh, two of my friends, Julhas and Thonoy, were brutally murdered back in Bangladesh with the religious extremist. Still, the religion doesn't accept homosexual people, but I believe one day will be accepted by all of the religion and the religion can take a really good part to change the society spreading the positive news, not spreading the hatred. You know, Maz's story is a reminder that wherever you are in the world and you're interested in the ongoing journey to freedom, please pick up Queer Footprints, a guide to uncovering London's fierce history, published by the brilliant Pluto Press. And if you are in London, you know, you can either read it at home, you can read it in the park, but really take to the streets and take up space and see the journey in reality on our streets. So thank you so much for joining us. Let's go mincing. <laughs>